Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we are looking at the NFL price picks plays for week two Thursday night football between the Vikings and the Eagles. We have all the props posted that we can pick from. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it for the like button, subscribe if you have not already. You can check out other links in the description. You can bounce back from that Monday night prize picks, um, which, you know, with Rodgers going down, definitely affected a few props there. But we have hopefully. Nothing crazy happens in this game, and we get a full workload from all these guys. But first prop that we're looking at today is uh, taking Jalen Hurts over half a rushing touchdown. So expect the Eagles to have a big bounce back game. You know, Jalen Hurts looked poor against the Patriots. The whole offense looked poor. They had a stretch in the second quarter where they went five straight, three and out, and that's never happened uh, before under Jalen Hurts. Uh, all of last season, the only time it happened for the Eagles was with uh, Gardner Minshew when he started. So expect Hurts and the Eagles to bounce back. It was the weather started off a little bit poor. It was raining in New England and just first game with a new offensive coordinator. So probably a little bit of adjusting. And these Eagles players did not play their starters in the preseason. So some rust as well. But short week, you know, Hurts and the offense are going to want to bounce back and put up some points. Hurts um, had a very poor day throwing for under 200 yards. But I'm taking him to get a rushing touchdown. I think the Eagles will put up points. It is one of the highest totals of the slate uh, for the full Week 2 slate. And last time the Eagles played the Vikings last season, Hurts did get you two rushing touchdowns in that performance. Second one I'm looking to is receptions, and I'm taking Dallas Goddard over four receptions. Now, uh, this is kind of similar to what happened last season with Devontae Smith in Week 1 where he didn't have any catches, and then the next week Eagles made it a, um, made it a kind of Part of his game, the game plan to get him the ball early and often, so he was peppered with targets. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Dallas Goddard, where he's coming off a game where he got zero catches, just one target. The offense as a whole didn't put up much uh, yards, so not a lot of guys did well. But at least uh, AJ Brown and Devontae they had their catches and res and re yards. Goddard did not. The Eagles paid him, and he said heading into the season he wants to get you. He wants to have a thousand yard season. So expect Nick Sirianni and. The Eagles to look to Goddard early. I think four catches is going to be a very nice play. I'm expecting five, six catches out of Goddard. For the third prop, we're looking at receiving yards, taking Justin Jefferson over 94 and a half. Uh, he was on pace to have over 200 yards at half, well over 200 yards at half in week one. Had 138 and then just had 12 the second half and ended up losing to Tampa Bay. Eagles did a decent job against Jefferson, a very good job against him in week two of last season, but... It's also a game where the Vikings just put up seven points and the Eagles were just kind of running away with it near the end. Uh, I think Jefferson not having Thielen this this year and you know, Addison looked pretty good in week one, but still um, Jefferson, is he's going to get 10 plus targets. I mean, even in the game against the Eagles last season, he gets you 13 targets. So he's going to get the ball. He's a guy that they like to use in a lot of crossing patterns and the Eagles, they gave up some big production to the Patriots receivers and they're probably going to be missing their starting cornerback in James Bradbury, potentially a starting safety in Reed Blankenship, and uh, the middle linebacker in Kobe Dean is out for multiple weeks. So one week into the season, the Eagles defense already a little bit banged up. Maybe if this was a full week, a couple of those guys would end up playing, not Kobe Dean, obviously, but maybe Bradbury would get cleared. Uh, we're not sure about Blankenship, but uh, Bradbury is dealing with a concussion. So you're going to have more young guys in the secondary. I think Jefferson over 94 and a half. Looks really good. Um, going with Devontae Smith as the fourth option here. I got six picks I'm going to share for this one. Over 63.5 receiving yards for Devontae Smith. Um, you can go with A.J. Brown if you wanted to. But like I said, I think the Eagles' whole offense is going to have a big game. They're going to put up yards. They're going to put up points. And you're getting Smith at a really good number as well at 63.5. He got you 80 yards against the Vikings last season. And then finally, for the last one I'm looking at for receiving yards, is going to be TJ Hawkinson on FanDuel Sportsbook right now. This number is at 49.5, so you're getting a great discount on price picks right now for four yards. And the Eagles are going to struggle in the middle of the field, especially against tight ends. And we saw last week with Hunter Henry and Mike Jacecki, they combined for over 80 yards and I think eight or nine catches between the two of them and a touchdown. So expect a pretty good game from TJ Hawkinson. They're going to look to get him the ball as well as Justin Jefferson. Those are the two guys that, you know, Kirk Cousins is going to throw to. And taking the over yards on a couple of guys, I think you can take a shot on Kirk Cousins over 262.5, uh, especially with them being 
currently a seven point spread if they're down in this game they're going to be throwing a lot cousins and that offense they like to throw anyways uh so most of the time cousins are going to get you to over 250 we just need him to get us over 263 in this type of game if you're not liking his yards you can take his passing touchdowns at one and a half because unlike hertz he's not really at any risk of running one in and taking one of those touchdowns um Take one of his passing touchdowns, turning into a rushing touchdown. So he's probably going to get you. All the touchdowns he gets are going to most likely going to be through the air. However, I feel a little bit better about the passing yards just because I am taking Jefferson and TJ Hawkinson. If those guys both hit, there's probably a really good correlation with, with Kirk Cousin and a good chance that he's going to hit as well. So those are the six props. I think they all look really good. You can tell these on sports books as well if you state doesn't allow prize picks, but. Over half a rushing touchdown for Jalen Hurts. Over four receptions for Dallas Goddard. Over 94 and a half receiving yards for Justin Jefferson. Uh, over 63 and a half yards for Devontae Smith. Over 45 and a half yards for Hawkinson. And over 262 and a half for passing yards for Kirk Cousins. It looks like a lot. That's why it's tough to hit a six pick. But split it up. Mix and match if you want to. But those are the ones I like the most. So best of luck. And I will catch you all next time.